know about you, Elliot, but the only thing I've been getting hammered with lately is the uh, stress of upcoming exam season and the crippling depression of knowing that I'm going to be working a nine to five job in a couple months. That's it, man. I mean, all this lettering is just really getting to me. You know, I do one thing, and there's another thing, and there's another thing. Yeah, I can only handle so much. Well, I'm just glad we got some strong beers here. Welcome back to Unbound Tap. All right, so today we got the uh, Strong Beer Challenge. These are the uh, strongest beers we can find at the uh, LSPO, um, our liquor store. So you guys probably might be able to find some stronger beers, but this is the strongest beer. This is what we could find. We got, these two are 10%. We got a 7.1. What's this guy at? Eight and a half. I think this one is nine, nine percent. Yeah. So we'll do them in order. We'll start off with the lowest, then we'll work our way up. Gonna get absolutely hammered. Absolutely fucking bubble. Now, You're gonna see me with my shades on in about two minutes. I, beer number one. Beer number one. Now, I really like this beer. I um, I tell everyone, hey, you haven't had beer until you've had Bone Shaker, right? Good old Bone Shaker, made in our backyard as well. I mean, a lot of the beers we do have are very close to home. Yeah. But this is made uh, just on the water there by Amsterdam Brewery in Toronto. And the 7.1% unfiltered Indian pale ale. I now, beer. One thing though, this is an IPA. Not all the all the beers we're gonna be drinking today is an IPA. So this is, it's gonna have a stronger taste regardless of the alcohol content, just because it's a hoppy beer. Let's do it. But yeah, crack her open. Let's jump into it. Crack it. Pop it. All right. Let's jump into it. You want me to hold the glass or? I'll, I'll try and do it. I'll try and do okay. it. Okay, you got it. You got it. There you go. Comment below who has the best pour. That's that's not really fair. <laughs> Lovely color though, just caramelized to the max. Nothing looks scary about this color, right? It's a can. You see the can and you actually taste it, you're like, I'm scared. Over the top pops. Oh, I, I love it. I love it. If if you haven't had this beer before, you need to have it. You need to get it's, all your friends to taste it. It's a fun game to play with like like drinking games because you get pretty, pretty rinsed after a few of these. I just think it's fun to be like, oh, like, yeah, you drink Molson Canadian? Well, yeah, I got a, I got another Molson for you. Try that. I mean, people are just like, wow, this tastes like sourdough bread. <laughs> sourdough bread. It tastes, the thing is, it tastes stronger than it actually is. Yeah. You, well, that's the thing. But like, it's, once it goes down, it fights going down. Once it's down, it's like, I'm ready for another sip. Well, you can't drink this warm. Molson, you could drink warm. This, if you drink warm, you would just go insane. This needs to be cold. <sighs> To, to, to drink. It needs to be very frigid. I agree. I agree. Can I be room temperature? And this, we're going to rank it how we did the <coughs> Halloween video. So, I mean, right now, I mean, we just got to put this at top, right? We have to put yeah. it at top. No, I have a bias for this beer. I love this beer. I've had this, this before. But let's let's move on to the next one. Right? Next one. All right. All right. So, this is our second beer. I think it's called Drool or something. I don't know. <laughs> Drool. Double? Is it double or Duval? Duval. Duval. It's, it's D U U. Yeah, right? Yeah, dual. 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 So Belgian Golden Ale, um, 8.5%. This whole thing, we'll throw it in the glass. glass. It's a cute little stubby, right? Yeah. First time I've ever used the word cute in beer to describe, but is that a lot lighter than I expected? That's very light, yeah. Bad pour on my end. Holy sh, look at this. This looks like, like Coors Light. It looks like Mountain Dew. It smells like um, like P like PVC piping, <laughs> like piping. It doesn't smell strong, because this isn't hoppy, right? It's, it's a Belgian golden. It's, it's an ale, right? So this is eight point five, right? Yeah. 8. So 5. I think this one it's it's hard to compare with the other one because the other one was so hoppy, right? But go ahead and drink your foam, bud. <laughs> Shit. Drink your foam or go home. What do you think? It's nice. Yeah. It's actually really nice. Barley malts, hops. Oh, wow, that's, that's a bit stronger than it's, it's easy. There's no hops, but it's strong. It's just you know? straight alcohol. It's like fizzy. That's I don't like mind it. I shot every time I, I don't mind it. Yeah. What do you, do you like that? I, I like the bone shaker more. Bone shaker? Okay. Bone shaker's got more flavor, Boom. but you might have a different opinion. This, this is very like a one trick pony. Like, yeah. I, I, I like bone shaker better. I just feel like I drink one of I drink two or three of these. I'm gonna just have a headache tomorrow, and I'm, I'm, I have no like. There's no reason for it, right? Like, why did I do that to myself? 
I That's see. Okay. I know you said it tastes, but like you could probably drink this and be like, oh, it's probably like six percent. But it's yeah. nine. Oh, it's eight and a half. It's almost nine. So I I like it. I'll give it two though. It doesn't really taste like anything. But if you want to get really messed up, crack a couple of these. All right. All right. We got number three here. It is Chima. 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 When Chima. I see that, you know what I think about uh, it's like the churros. Back. I think churros. That's it's what got I mean. like the Quebec. Um, Kind of whatever those things are. Front and axe or whatever they're called. Next, Madame de Neige. <laughs> Personal favorite. Current standings, you got the shaker and then the dual as number number dose. So, I mean, the bone shaker had a little bit of bias to it just because we've... It's, it's Canadian. It's Canadian. It's Canadian. It, it, it's, we've had it before. What can you love more than a Canadian beer? This one's dark. This one's dark. dark. Yeah, man. This one was like ginger ale. This one's like, like an amber lager. Where is this from? This is from d -d 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 Belgium. Belgium is, geez, Belgium get like, get pretty cranked, eh? Yeah. I wish I could read you the ingredients, but it's not in English and I don't read. This smells like oh, straight rubbing alcohol. Um, they they do their beers really well in Belgium, in, eh? They in, do beers a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a good beer. <laughs> it's a good beer? Yeah. Yeah, good I think these two have already uh, hit the levers here. Yeah. You go first this time. You go first right. this time. See where we... I want to smell it from the ball. I'm a big smeller. Holy crap. Oh my god, it tastes like apple juice. Really? Yeah, it tastes like apple juice, man. Who at home's a big smeller? I gotta smell I gotta smell before I drink it. What do you think? It's got an apple juice taste, doesn't it? Doesn't it? If you told me this was a extra strong cider, I'd believe you. Yeah, it tastes like apple juice. It's crazy. But it doesn't taste that strong. No. I think I like this better than this one. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I would drink that. I'd drink it, yeah. Oh my lord. Okay, so yeah. I mean, we just that was a really quick conclusion, but yeah. This... That's insane. Yeah, okay. Number two. Yeah. All right, beer number four. We have Crest Premium Lager, Super, and this is a German beer. Looks like. You're at home. There it is. I don't Take know it. about you, Elliot, but I'm ready to call quits. I can't, yeah, I'm I feeling can't do this anymore. I'm feeling pretty nice right now. Yeah, this tapped me out. I want another ring. This is like a well, snakes and ladders match, you know. Quick comment: with beer cans, I don't know if you can see that. Have the little indent to help you open it. I'm a huge oh, fan I've of that. never seen that before. Actually. I'm a huge. It just it says, "Hey, open me." Well, I will. Oh, that was a good sound. Yeah, that was a big pop. Now, I I'm gonna guess this is lighter. Yeah, it was lighter than the last one for sure. It smells a lot, uh, right. So, oh wow. So this is where we're at right now. You know, it kind of smells like the uh, the back. third one we had there. It kind of tastes smells like that. A little bit. Yeah. All right. Kind of tastes the same. There's a bit. I don't know. Everything could taste the same. Brewed with the best quality barley malt. Um, now this one does have a bit more of a distinct aftertaste. To be honest, I'm looking at putting this one second right now because I like it. I don't know. You're not a big fan of bone shaker though, so you might you might have a different opinion. What do you think? This these two. This has got an apple -y taste too, like yeah. a smoky apple taste. I don't know, maybe they're making some like cider and put some different labels on it. I'll, I'm down to give this two. Honestly, I think I might like that better than that. Than bone shaker? To be honest, yeah. yeah. But for now, okay. last but not least, facts. Let me bring this up uh, front here so you can see. Now, something about this can, it makes me want to run for the hills. There's a friggin' Viking on the front of it. It's facts, right? Like, it's spitting truth, right? It's black. It's black. It makes can. me think like I'm gonna open this can. And it's gonna suck my soul out. That's something I'd like to say. All these cans are really dark, seeing like, oh, yeah. this is really gonna fuck you up. And then the white one's just like, hey, like, come give me a kiss, right? That's perfect. That was a good pop. Love that sound. That was a good pop. The, the, the thing is, these are beers that are the same percentage as wine, which is pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah, and at least wine, 
it's sugary, right? So it's like, oh, you know, I don't feel so bad. And next thing you know, like you're on the ground, right? This is Denmark. So this is straight Denmark. Europe, eh? Yeah. This is most, most of these are European. Europeans are on a different level. They are. Um, yeah, no ingredients on this one. So Cost actually rent. there are ingredients. Yeah. Oh, there are ingredients. Did a little spill on myself there. That's all right. Nice little, uh. After you've had a couple of these. Yeah. I mean, color wise. Looks about the same yeah. as the last one. It it just looks like a lager, really. Does it say what it is? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh my hand smells like fucking. It doesn't say. Right now. Doesn't uh, say. No. Okay. It's got a bunch of nonsense on the top of the way. Yeah, it's, it's like beer and different things. Cervez. Uh, you're right. It yeah. is Cervez. Uh, I yeah, guess this is like yeah, an yeah. internationally loved beer or something. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. That's actually the first beer I've seen do that. Yeah. All right, let's hop in. Let's see where it is. Kind of like uh, when you first turn on the like, iPhone or something. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, it it tastes pretty bad. Yeah. That tastes what the other ones I thought would taste like. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good. Just bad. Now it's weird because all these strong beers. All the European strong beers, they have like an apple-y taste. I don't know these why. These three. These yeah. three? This one, it, it, take another sip. It does it in the beginning, and then right after, it's like, I'm taking your soul. Like, thank you very much. Have a good day. Yeah. Just right at the beginning. And then after, it's like, it's just like Malt. someone put like a blanket over your tongue. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's pretty ass. I'm saying right now as we stand, I am putting that last. Oh, for sure. Last place. Um, so let's let's center all these out. Now, is there any of these that we want to move up? Is there any like last last redemption that's come here? Yeah, I think this is, for, this is pretty fair. I think this is good. So this is how we'll leave it. This is our strong beer. As we said before, there's probably stronger beers you can find out there. This oh, is the strongest sure. we could find in this the This is LCD. Ontario, okay? So we, you know, we have really shitty... Uh, a lot of uh, regulations. Regulations. So, you don't let any fun shit in. So you go down to Texas, there might be like a sixty percent beer, right? You know, Ontario, we we do things yeah. a bit different. Here, so. This beer was inspired by uh, Wonton Don Barstool at sixty percent beer <laughs> that he had. We'll, we'll we'll throw that down in the comments below. You guys have probably seen it. We'll throw a little clip up top. But yeah, so this is where it stands. This is yeah. Unbound Tap Strong Beer Review. If if you if you live in Canada, Ontario especially, and there's stronger beers out there, let Please us know. Let us know. And we'll do another video about yeah. it. Um, but yeah, as it stands right now, this is what it is. Yeah. Thank Top you five. Much, yeah. See you guys next time.